Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find uh, I2C address using I2C scanner with DJ Spark USB and DJ Spark micro USB development boards. Let's get started with this. many applications you need to find the square c address i have written this on this one the square c address is represented with hex value and to understand if the value is hex we just put 0x at the beginning so this says that this number is hexadecimal value 3f so you need to find the address for this one and maybe for the other sensor or whatever to run i square c scanner there is some steps you have to take and uh, let me show you that one make sure that is SDA and SCL are properly connected. On this module on the JS Park, the first one is SDA. As you can see here, this pen SDA have been labeled as SDA. This is connected to the first pen. This is digital zero first pen and SCL, the last one, will be connected one pin in between so this is on the third pin this is also labeled as digital pin 2 0 1 2 so one in between sda and scl so once the wiring is connected and this device needs to power up connected to the ground and 5 volts vcc is connected to 5 volts ground is connected to the ground then you're ready to read the the connection is the same for this one as well so first first make sure that uh, DJ Spark library and files are installed on your computer. I have another video explaining how to start with DJ Spark USB and micro USB. Make sure to watch that. After that, click on tools, boards, and from this window, scroll down until you see DJ Stamp if you are boards. And the first one for these is that DJ Spark default 16.5 megahertz this is selected if not click on it that is done then go to file examples and scroll down on, on here until you see examples for DJ Spark and then go to DJ Spark examples and click on I square C scanner I'm putting it here and then after that on the start menu type notepad not as soon as you type notepad you will get the notepad if not type full notepad open it I grab this from the top bar the screen is at the middle now I'm bringing it on this side click on upload this is not connected now neither this one nor this one so the device is ready connected in here but not connected when you see it says that you have 60 seconds at this stage connected and wait until you see here it says done upload done When it says done, click here. And as you can see, it prints the address for you. Zero X three F for this device. Another device, the larger one. Let's now I've connected another device which has a different address 0x27 let's check it upload click on upload not connected yet we have the 60 second window open plug this in when you see upload is done immediately click here now this is the active window and click here 0x27 the address for this was discovered and printed so what it does is that it prints on any screen that you have if I have here Microsoft Word if I open Microsoft Word it will print on Microsoft Word
if you go on Arduino and click, it will print it on your Arduino. Of course, you will not, you don't want that. Now I have, I've connected this VL53L0X. This is a laser distance meter that measures the distance. And let's find out the address for this one. I've connected SDA to this pin and SCL uh, exactly the same way. And I've powered it up with five volts. Let's upload the code. First, do the same. We have 60 second window. Click. As soon as it says done, click on here. And as you can see, it shows 0x29. Thank you for watching. This was how to use a serial monitor with DJ Spark 80Tiny85 USB development modules. If you learned something from this video and if you like it, please thumb up. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my other upcoming videos. And if, if you have comment or question, post it at the uh, comment section below. I try to answer and reply.